Hey, in this video, we're gonna take you through Lincoln City, Oregon on the map. And I'm gonna show you some different things uh, geographically, some different things of walkability, uh, recreationally, educationally, um, some healthcare stuff with the map, as well as where you can go eat, just some basic things that you're gonna wanna know. And then talk over a little bit about the market in Lincoln City. And we're gonna get after it right now. So when we talk about Lincoln City, I want to just go through a couple things, just travel related. So if we go Lincoln City to Portland International Airport, you're looking at about a two hour and 20 minute drive, roughly uh, two hours, 20 minutes, depending on where you're at. Um, uh, if we're driving um, around, right around two hours, if we go to uh, now, that's just Portland. I'm talking about the Portland airport. So if you take the Portland, you go to the Portland airport, it's about two hours, 30 minutes, two hours, 20 minutes. I mean, right now they're talking about rush hour. So it's going to take a little bit longer. If you go to the Eugene airport, which are the two main airports that you're going to fly in to get to Lincoln city, you're talking about around the same. Um, where would I go? I mean, if you want a, a little bit more mellow of a, time in the airport, I'd probably go to Eugene. If you want to go through the city and see some different things, I'd go to Portland. Um, just to give you an idea of how far things are, you know, in the near area, you've got the county seat of Newport, it's 25 miles, about takes about 30 to 40 minutes to get there. If you're going to go north to Tillamook, um, it's about the same, right? You're, you're looking at, uh, let's go, it's about an hour to Tillamook, uh, Pacific City right there in the middle. And then let's say you're going to go to the valley, maybe go to a, something in, in Salem. You're looking at about another hour. So everything's about, you know, 45 minutes to an hour away, north, south or east um, from Lincoln City. So if we zoom in on Lincoln City, let me see here. I want to get rid of this. But if I zoom in on Lincoln City and I'm going to go to the um, satellite view. I'm going to say we're coming in from the north, okay? You come through Otis, Otis Rose Lodge, um, or you're coming from the Valley Grand, Grand Ronde, um, Salem area. So when you're living on the coast and you talk about anything in the Willamette Valley, you say the valley. That's just what people say um, when you live on the coast. Um, and people don't really say that they live on the Oregon coast. It's more, we just live on the coast. When you're in North Lincoln City, um, we'll just go through some of the major shopping areas, day-to-day um, -day shopping areas. So when it comes to getting food, you're probably gonna either go to Safeway, which is on the north part of town, or you're going to go to McKay's, which is right here in the center of town. This, the town is, the city is um, separated really from north and south, and it's separated by Devil's Lake and the D River, because there's only really one way to get across the D River, which is Highway 101 right here at D River State Park. Um, or you can go to the east side and you can take northeast um, or east Devil's Lake Road right here, which goes around and then it meets up with 101 at the Lincoln City Outlet Malls. So if you're in North Lincoln City, um, some different places that you might live are Road's End. You might live in Niatsu. You might live around the lake. You might live in Wacoma, which is right here, or Ocean Lake, which is right here. You might come down into the Lincoln City or Taft area. So here you've got the main Lincoln City area, um, which, you know, we'd call Nelscott. And then um, you've got Nelscott, which is where you'll get the Nelscott Reef, uh, the Nelscott Surf Competition. Then you go further south and you've got Taft. That's where you're going to get your your three major schools. With you, well, there's only two of them, but you've got your elementary, middle, high school. So, um, but it really is like three schools in two. So that's that. You got Taft, and then you go further south. You've got Cutler City, and that's basically the end of Lincoln City. Some people will say that um, a little bit further south, Salishan and Glen Eden Beach area is. Lincoln City and you know it's really hard to tell where you're going to make the division line but most people will say that it's Cutler City because that's always traditionally been what Lincoln City is. So when we talk about 
you know, where you're going to shop. I think for food, you know, Safeway or McKay's is probably one of the main place, the main places you're going to, you're going to shop. So you've got Safeway on the north end. You've got McKay's right here on the, the middle end. And then south, you've got a smaller grocery store here to, I'm missing it, right here, Kenny's IGA. That's a smaller um, little spot if you're further south. And then, you know, if you're as far down as maybe Glen Eden Beach, there's another spot right here, Chester's, which is gonna be another um, place where you might go. But that is Lincoln City. Um, Lincoln City isn't big, you know, it's actually pretty, um, pretty small area overall. But you've got um, some different restaurants you might go to, some fast food restaurants. You got McMinimins, you got Pig and Pancake, some of the better restaurants. Um, you got Kylo's right here on the D River. And then when you're down in Taft, um, there's some different little spots, which I'm not going to go over. Um, breakfast wise, you know, I really like the Nell Scott Breakfast House. I also like Otis Cafe right here in Taft. So this is Taft High School. Um, some great burgers or Highway 101 burger. And then a new spot that has just come open in the last year, um, year and a half, is the Pines Dine. This is a spot where people go and they um, have food carts, food trucks, and you can actually go in and eat in this area right here. This is, you know, a, a large eating area um, where you can get a table. You can get, they've got a... Um, a bar, an open bar in there where you can get some drinks. Um, really a, a cool spot to go if you're, you're wanting to eat and you want some different options. Maybe one person in your family likes, um, you know, Greek food. They've got all the falafels that you can eat. They also have Thai food. They have Chinese food, different things. And I'm sure it'll go in and out as they, as it progresses. Another good spot to go is Moe's. This is great seafood right here. Um, when you're thinking about eating. So grocery shopping, eating, those are some different things you can do in Lincoln City. Let's talk about education. I'm already right here in Taft. This is where if you have kids and you're going to be in Lincoln City, their ki your kids are going to go to Taft. Um, I am from the Newport area, which is further south. It's the county hub. Um, and, you know, there's, diff there's the different cultures of schools and different cultures of places. Taft is, you know, they've got great educators. They've got it's all a part of the same school district, the Lincoln County School District. It's got the north end, which is Taft. It's got the south end, which is Walport and Yahats, but it's Walport, um, they, well, it's Crestview Elementary and Walport Middle High School. You've got the east area, which is Toledo. And then there's some other places, uh, charter schools like Solette's Charter and Eddyville Charter. And then there is um, obviously Newport High School in the center. Taft High School, Taft Tigers, um, great spot. You know, it's going to be a, a smaller high school in the state. There's there's six classifications based on size in the state of Oregon. Taft is a 2A slash 3A. You know, it's right around there in the, the middle. So what is that? There's about, you know, anywhere from, I believe it's somewhere between 450 and 600 kids that go to Taft High School. So you've got Taft Elementary here. Um, it's a fairly good spot. And then you've got obviously Taft Middle High, which I think this wing right here is where you're going to get your seventh and eighth graders. And then the rest of it's where you're going to get your um, high schoolers. Now, as we go north, there's one other elementary school. So you've only got two elementary schools in all of Lincoln County or not all of Lincoln, all of Lincoln City. Um, there's Taft Elementary, which I just showed you right next to Taft High School. And then there's this this elementary school, which is Ocean Lake in the Ocean Lake community. Uh, or district. Um, and this is, uh, you know, a nice little area. You've got Curtis Park, you've got Ace Hardware, and you've got the Lincoln City, or Lincoln City Parks and Recreation um, Center there. So it'd be the Lincoln City Rec Center. So you've got Curtis Park is where you're going to have all your baseball games. Right over here is one of the better skate parks. That covered area is the covered area, covered skate park area, which is nice. You've got Ocean Lake right at the top of this hill. And then if I turn around, you've got uh, a cool... Uh, uh, statue of Abraham Lincoln. And then right here you have the Lincoln City Recreation Center, which has got basketball courts, pool, lifting, um, everything that you'd want from a, a local recreation center. So that's a good area to be when you're in Lincoln City. Are you going to walk around Lincoln City? Um, probably not. There's not 
The truth is about Lincoln City, Newport, and some different, there's just not great areas, places to walk. There are areas that you're gonna find, but I don't think it's something that you're gonna habitually do. Maybe if you're really trying to do exercise and get into shape, you might do that. But it's not something where it's like, we're just gonna walk from Ocean Lake to say, you know, the outlet malls. That's probably just, I mean, it might be, but I just, I don't see that local people doing that they normally jump in their car and go somewhere a lot of times it's raining a lot of times it's cold and windy um, and you're just trying to jam around you're probably not going to walk somewhere now if you did want to walk somewhere and you wanted to kind of have that community feel where you can just walk from um, area to area I mean I would probably say the roads end area is a good place to to live to go on walks um, you know because you can walk to Safeway you can walk to restaurants different areas there um, and maybe the Taft community is, is a good spot, but you know, this isn't really demonstrating how hilly it is. There are some, um, you know, some steepness to some of these little spots. So I don't want to sell you on something that isn't real, but you know, it definitely is a good place to be, whether you want to be in Taft, um, central Lincoln city, or you want to be in the ocean lake roads and area, all great areas. Now let's talk about healthcare. When you talk about healthcare, you got a brand new hospital in the Samaritan North Lincoln Hospital right here. Um, I don't know if it's going to be up, but they just constructed. Let me see. The trees are killing me here. Let's see. Can you see it? Yeah, it doesn't really look like you're going to be able to see. Um, yeah, it doesn't have it. So there's a new hospital there. Obviously, it's, I mean, I was on that road and it wasn't showing any of that, but um, it's got all of the things that you're going to need for your emergency needs, for checkups, or different things there. Newport, which is, like I said, 40 minutes south, 35, 40 minutes south, also has a brand new hospital, which I'm just going to show you if you're here looking for Lincoln City. The Newport Hospital is um, brand new as well, and it's right here. Samaritan Pacific Communities Hospital in Newport. Um, and you know, some people may be watching this video and want to see a little bit about Salishan. Salishan is a world class golf course and community, has condominiums, it's got um, lodges, it's got beautiful homes. I mean, down the spit, there's so many beautiful places that you could live. And it is considered Lincoln City. I was just going to do an entire video series um, on just Lincoln City and maybe split it with uh, Glen Eden Beach, Salishan. But, you know, if you're talking about if you live in Salishan, technically you live in Lincoln City. Um, and I mean, you're going to come through here. Pelican Brewing Company also has a great restaurant right here in Cutler City. Um, Cutler City is really just one of those districts of Lincoln City that was combined into Lincoln City when they did that. And, um, you know, it's just a group of houses. There's not really much there. There's Roby's Furniture, there's Pelican Brewing, and then you're going to go north into Lincoln City. Um, some other things that you might do in Lincoln City um, on a, you know, if you're going to, what do people do when they live on the coast? A lot of people like to hike. A lot of people like to do nature things. So where would you go? You might go to the beach. There's a number of locations on the beach. I would say um, one of the better places to go, Olivia Beach. If you want to live in a really cool community, Olivia Beach is one of those. I'm just going to show you Olivia Beach real quick. Um, you've got this beautiful community of beach um, contemporary homes. And I mean, there's a lot of cool things on this. I did go over it in the vlog of Lincoln City. I kind of went up and this house actually is for sale right now in May of 2023. But Olivia Beach is great. Beach access is always important. Olivia Beach has its own beach access here, which I'll show you. You're going to be hiking down because um, this is all, I mean, you can't really tell. Maybe you can, but this is like the side of a, a cliff here, basically. So you've got the, and I'd say it's probably 100, 150 feet up, which is good, you know, in some aspects. But if you're trying to get down to the beach, it might not be as good. But here's a beach access point where you can actually drive down to the beach, 11th Drive. Um, and that's right by the Lincoln City Outlet Malls. Another source of shopping, um, you know, and this is more, it's not like your daily shopping, but it's going to be a spot where you go 
to, you know, go get some shoes or go get some clothes, do some different shopping there. I always like to go drop by Walmart. That's a good spot to go. Um, and then if you do want to go to your natural food store, it's right here. Trillium Natural Foods. They've got great stuff there. I'd highly advise going there. Um, Goodwill. They just put up a new building right here. And then if you need to get a new phone, AT&T right there. So you're just, you're going to, you're going to figure out where you want to be in the Lincoln city area. If that's where you want to be a lot of second homes, a lot of people that want to be on the lake, a lot of people that want to be on the beach. I mean, the cool thing about being on the lake is you're one to two minutes from the beach, but you're also on a beautiful, I mean, devil's lake is one of the most beautiful lakes you could find on the coast. So those are all great options. So we've gone over education, we've gone over healthcare, we've gone over some other recreational things you can do, hikes, a um, couple good hikes right here. You've got Cascade Head, which you can, you're can you gonna have to drive north to get to Cascade Head, but you can see that's kind of the view that you're gonna get from Cascade Head. Or if you go to God's Thumb here on Roads Inn, there's gonna be some right here, um, some good things going on. If you take that hike, something like that, Another option um, is the, let me see if I can find the Drift Creek Falls. Um, yeah, right here. Uh, I think that's a campground, but uh, that's not it. So up here, there's actually, uh, here we go. Drift Creek Falls, you can kind of see, I'm not going to go into it, but there's this beautiful, uh, footbridge um, but if you go to drift there's actually a trailhead that you can park at and you can walk along the trail and then I don't know if I would be able to find it uh, right here oh, I did find it look at that so there's the bridge right there there's the footbridge and the falls are right under it in a couple different spots you can walk down there so you go to the trailhead walk down there that's a beautiful spot I'm glad they have that on there um, there's going to be, you know, obviously fishing and different, um, activities on the river that you can do. The Sluts River is one of the most prestigious rivers when it comes to different types of fishing, um, depends on what you want to do. And then, you know, if you're going to go surfing, uh, you want to be doing that. I'd say Otter Rock, Agate Beach are some real good novice areas to go fishing or go surfing. A lot of people go to Agate Beach. And they, these heads are really nice to go to in the summer. I mean, most people aren't going to the beach in the winter. In the summer, the winds are coming from the northwest. So these headlands, if you get on the south side of these headlands, they're great spots to go and hang out. Where, uh, you know, one thing that you don't think about on the Oregon coast is that wind starts really kicking up. So you might have five months of beautiful sunshine weather. But the problem is, is it's always windy. So you better have a hoodie. You better have a jacket, no matter if it's sunny or not. And just know where to go. So... Uh, if you go inland, that wind kicks down and you're in 75 to 80 degree weather. Um, so, you know, if you're on Devil's Lake, that might be a little close to the ocean. But let's say you went down to Toledo and went past and you went here to Alala Lake. Alala Lake, that's got, that's a great place to go. Um, if you're trying to, you know, get into some water, get off the coast because the coast brings the wind and you also get the marine layer when it's hot especially in the valley it'll pull that marine layer you know a mile inland off of the ocean and it might be 80 degrees in Salets, and then right here in newport in lincoln city it's um not so much because of that marine layer so it's cold and kind of damp sometimes that happens so just to give you an idea of, you know, Lincoln City, um, Lincoln County, the major hubs are Lincoln City, Newport, Walport, and then Toledo to your east. And then obviously you saw Salette's right there. Eddyville, there's a charter school there. And then, I mean, these are really small areas. These are not even towns. And then to your south, you've got um, Walport and then Yahats, one of the most, more beautiful places. I'm gonna have videos and um, map tours on all those, but, I will say, um, if you're looking at coming to Lincoln City or you want more information about Lincoln City, you want more information on a specific property or you need some help um, getting a video on a property, maybe you're out of the area, you want to see something, just give me a call, um, email me, text me, or we can jump on a Zoom call and we can go over some different options. Just let me know how I can help. I am on the Oregon coast and I'm more than willing to help and I'd love to. So uh, yeah, I hope everything's going well. Let me know how we can help and uh, 
Until then, have a great day.